Hello guys, fancy seeing me here, huh? <laughs> After a while, um, busy with school and, and, and stuff, um, and I'm finally back for, for a little bit. So, in today's video, I plan to teach you how to, um, use the new text chat service, the, the, the bubble chat one. So as you can see here, this was released t t two weeks ago. Uh, you can see how late I am to this, but um, yeah, Bubble Chat is now into text chat service. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can enable it and how to modify it using a script and just modifying it in general in the simpler way. Note that I am not a professional scripter. I'm still learning. I'm beginning. So if I say something wrong or something's not correct, please do not murder me. Uh, and um, yeah, let, let, let's get straight into it. So the first thing is, what is the text chat service? Well, the legacy chat service, which is the chat service that almost every Roblox game has, is the one that I have right now. If I click over here this is the legacy chat service I type this in that's the bubble and that's the chat now that's what everybody's used to but Roblox has released a new chat service around I believe a year ago and that is the text chat service so yeah just just a little clarification there so first off what you want to do is you want to head over to Roblox studio you want to open Roblox studio um, it's roblox.com slash create or you can just click the first link in the description. That would be the direct download link to Roblox Studio of the latest version. Now, you can open any experience or any game you want. I'm just going to open a classic base plate or the new base plate just for the purpose of this video. And now that you're in the base plate, what you want to do is you want to head over to the Explorer menu. If you do not see that, head over to View and then enable Explorer and Properties. You would need both of these. Next up, you want to scroll all the way down until you see Text Chat Service. Now you want to go to the chat version and you want to change that from Legacy Chat Service to Text Chat Service in the Properties. Now that you've done that, you successfully have the new Text Chat Service. Now if I press play right here, you see that, yes, the new text chat service has loaded in. And when you type in chat, you'd see it's the new chat and you would see there's a bubble chat. But now the purpose of this video is to change the bubble chat. So I'm going to teach you how you can do that right now. So you want to click the, the, the arrow next to the text chat service to see if you have bubble chat configuration. It should be there. If it's not, I assume you can just press the plus button and then add in Boba Chat's configuration. I don't know. It's always been there for me, so I've never actually really tried that out. You can simply click on it, and in the properties menu, you can change all of that here as well. This is the simpler, simpler version, simplified version, but you can notice some things you cannot change, like the font, which is why scripting will help you with that. So, how do I script the bubble chat configuration? First, you want to head over to service script service and you want to press the plus icon and you want to add in a service script or just a regular script. That's the service script. Now, what you want to do is you want to get the text chat service function. Now, I'm going to type in a comment right there just as best practice and I'm going to get the text chat service service. <laughs> kind of funny, man. So I'm going to type in local text chat service equals game colon get service brackets speech marks text chat service. On the next line, I'm going to get the bubble chat configuration variable to make it simpler for me. So I'm going to type in local bubble chat configuration equals text chat service dot bubble chat configuration. This grabs the bubble chat configuration of the text chat service. As you see, when you click the arrow button to drop down everything, it grabs that right there. So now that we have that, let's just change the properties of the bubble chat. So I'm gonna do bubble chat configuration dot font equals enum dot font type. 
or enum.font, sorry, and we're going to select a font. Now, you can select any type of font that you want. I'm going to select the Creepster font because it's getting up to Halloween. I assume that's a creepy one, right? It's called Creepster after all. And next up, I'm going to change the bubble chat configuration again. I'm going to change the text size. So I'm going to do bubble chat configuration dot text size, and I'm going to make it um, 25. Why not? Next up, I'm going to do another one, bubble chat configuration, and I'm going to change the text color. So I'm going to do text color three equals color three dot new. And then I'm going to choose a color. Uh, let's make the text color bright red. Why not? Now what's cool with this is you can change the background color of the text as well. So we're going to do bubble chat configuration dot background color three equals color three dot new. And we're going to choose a background color. Now what goes with red, I don't know. I'm just going to choose pink. This may make people angry, but this is the tutorial. <laughs> you can change everything in the properties, like the duration of the bubble chat. So how long the bubble chat lasts for. So I could do bubble chat configuration dot bubble chat or bubble duration, sorry, equals, uh, let's make it five seconds. And that is basically the script that you need to really configure the bubble chat if you don't want to change it in the properties menu of the bubble chat configuration in the first place. Or there's some things that you can't change like the font and stuff like that. You can change it in the script and make it easier. So let's test the script out. Let me press play. And it is bugged again. <laughs> Let me press stop and press play again, sorry. There we go. Oh, oh, my character is loaded in. And now I will type something in chat. So I'm gonna say hi. And as you can see, the bubble chat is configured. It's up for five seconds. The background is pink and the text chat where the text is red and it is the creepster font and it is size 25 as you can see it's, it's it's very big but it hasn't changed over here that is perfectly fine because this is a bubble chat configuration video i i'm still learning stuff so excuse me on that i apologize but yeah that's how you change the bubble chat in the new text chat service on roblox i uh, hope this video is at least useful to new scripters or to people that are curious um i will leave a link to the developer forum post and the creator documentation below as with the roblox studio download link and also the script in the description of the video as well just in case you just want to copy and paste the same script that i have to make it simpler for you and without further ado, um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully not too long from now. Um, and yeah, peace. Oh yeah, sorry. One last thing is that it works with a local script. So you can put it in starter player scripts as well. It would also work that way. And um, yeah. <laughs>